All right. Thanks once again for watching Blue City Reviews. We appreciate every viewer. Tonight I'm talking about Bad Reputation, the Joan Jett documentary from 2018, available for streaming on Hulu. Uh, I needed a change of pace after Billy, the 2019 Billy Holiday documentary, which was very well done and very powerful, but very tragic. And uh, I just, I needed a change of pace. And I knew that a Joan Jett documentary, regardless of its quality, was going to offer that. Uh, I'm obviously a huge fan. Anybody who knows me even distantly um, knows that. Uh, I've got pretty much everything she recorded on CD. I might be missing some stuff. There might be some gaps in there. But, um, man, her most recent one, Unvarnished, recent, yeah, 2013, eight years ago already. Um, but that one was, Christ, one of her best albums. I mean, TMI, the song TMI is worth uh, the price of the CD or the download alone. I've also got a couple of vinyl, which I'm, I'm glad to have, which my uh, gorgeous fiancé bought for me. We have arguments about who's the bigger Joan Jett fan. and I'm, I'm convinced I've won all those arguments, but she would probably uh, disagree. So, Bad Reputation. Okay, this is a documentary I enjoyed. I enjoyed thoroughly. It has gotten some criticism for not going in-depth on all the details, and it does not. This feels very much like a Joan Jett single. It, it, uh, it's deft, and it's fast, and it rocks, and it doesn't wallow too much, uh, you know, like a like our Treyu with his horse, you don't want to wallow too much or you're going to get sucked into the sadness. And Joan Jett knows that. I mean, here's the thing. And she says this many times in the documentary. Joan Jett is all about the music. <clears throat> she's all about the music. She's not about the limos. She's not about the press, the media, the journalists, you know, what the next fucking whiny ass writer is going to say about her. She's about the music. And this documentary reflects that, and the uh, interviews she does here reflects that. Uh, I've read more than a couple reviews. It's like, her interviews seem scripted. No. She just doesn't want to go in depth about what you want her to talk about, which is the scandalous shit and the sex and all that nonsense. She doesn't want to talk about that. In fact, I've heard the commentary she does with Kristen Stewart and Dakota Fanning on the Runaways DVD, I might even have the Blu-ray. If not, I should get it. But she has a commentary with those two, and when it gets to, you know, the more intimate scenes, the sex scenes, Joan Jett says, hey, girls, quiet down. Don't talk about this. No commentary needed. Nobody's getting their jollies off here. And this is, this, that's the essence of this documentary, man. It moves. Whether it's the good or the bad, it's clipping along. The Runaways section moves right along, gets into her 80s career, which is arguably the most interesting section of the documentary because I didn't know that much about that point in her career, even though that's the music, you know, I listened to the most. I, I knew nothing about her relationship with Kenny Laguna, who is her uh, songwriting partner and uh, non-sexual life mate and also producer, their best friends, that section of the film is adorable. I'm telling you, man. Um, those two. <laughs> I'm so glad that, that she has a friend. I mean, that, that stuff is great. I could have watched a whole movie with just those two going back and forth. I mean, that would have been fantastic. But like everything else in this movie, you know, you get about five, ten minutes of it, and then it's moving right along. You get a section on light of day in here. Her movie with Michael J. Fox, you get interviews with Michael J. Fox in here. Now, granted, it's about maybe five minutes in the movie, like everything else, but at least they covered it. I'm glad no interviews with Paul Schrader or anything like that, but I'm glad it's here. That's cool. Lots of people interviewed, you know, about her. Uh, Miley Cyrus and, uh, you know, I'm warming up to her, but man, maybe until she's more mature, she should just close her mouth um let's see deborah harry 
has some great stuff to say. Iggy Pop uh, has not aged, and I mean that in terms of he looks the same as he did back when I saw him on a huge screen watching uh, The Crow City of Angels. Uh, he looks like, you know, somebody once said a face like melted candle wax. And I mean that as a compliment. I wish I had his face, actually. Uh, Kathleen Hanna from Bikini Kill is awesome as well. She's probably the best interviewee in this whole documentary. Didn't know that much about her or their work. I mean, I heard the name, obviously, from, from friends of mine, but um, seeing her interviewed here was really, really cool. Again, everything in here is brief. I'm sounding like a broken record, but, um, you know, I, I would have liked to have seen perhaps more about her political activism, the PETA stuff. They do dig into the Mia Zapata stuff, which I'm grateful for, because if anything else, it's going to get more eyes on the, well, more ears, rather, on the gits. Uh, the band, The Gits, I'll say it once more, The Gits, listen to The Gits, more people need to listen to The Gits, they they get into, you know, her reasoning behind, uh, you know, supporting the troops with those concerts, all of which I, I thought was great, but again, it's zinging right along like a Joan Jett hint single, and uh, this rocks, it's this, you know what, I'm just going to say, this is a documentary that uh, rocks, I think it's great. I think it's fast-paced and entertaining, and it feels like something she would approve of. You know, if you're looking for something that scrapes the bottom of Joan Jett's soul, this isn't that, and I don't think she wants you there anyway. So, um, yeah, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this. I'm glad it exists. Bad Reputation on Hulu. If you're a Joan Jett fan, worth a watch. Cheers, my friends. Talk to you next time.